Hello, it's me again. I'm filming our new craft tutorial, which is fun. Um, and it is a cell phone stand that works kind of like a speaker using the most basic speaker science. And I just went around my house for like 15 minutes looking for my cell phone so that I could film this video for you. And it's right here. I'm filming on my cell phone. <laughs> so it was in this stand that I have to film in this whole time. Because I'm stupid. But it's okay because we all have moments like this. So for the purpose of this video, because I don't have anything else to film with, this little tiny remote that is for the, like, Pier one candles we have that are like electronic that you turn on like this. This is now my cell phone. Okay, so you have a paper towel tube or toilet paper tube. You have a tube. I may have cut one down for you. I don't know which one you've got. You have your phone or iPad or not iPad, I iPod, whatever the heck you have that's little. Maybe it's your parents' phone. I don't know what you have. I don't know your life. Take it, set it down on this. You're gonna wanna trace around it, like a pencil or something or a marker. You don't wanna get like right up on it because you want a little space. So I'm just going to kind of draw myself a little square here. Rectangle, I don't know why I always call rectangles squares. I swear I did a geometry class where I learned the difference. I also went to preschool where we learned the difference. There's a difference. Okay, so you got a little square action, rectangle action. Rectangle, Laura. Rectangle. You got a little thing happening. You got your scissors. You are going to cut that out. Cut yourself that rectangle. It's going to be a little hard to do. I'm going to tell you right now. It's not easy to do this because you're working on a very tiny thing that wants to fold on you. It's obnoxious to cut squares in cardboard. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's going to be fine. We've got this. We're together. What can go wrong? Okay. Almost done. Okay, rectangle that your device can fit easily into. It can. Okay, good. So now, set aside all your stuff. You've got washi tape. So take a little edge of your washi tape and start sticking washi tape to this paper towel roll experience. You were given lots of washi tape. You will not use it all. Um, I just thought, you know what would be great? If we all had some washi tape so that we can do another craft at another point. And washi tape is already at your house. So when I say get some washi tape, you'll be like, I got this. Don't worry about it. I got some washi tape. So I'm just kind of adding my washi to this. Ooh, this is stickier. Ooh. You needed that high pitched sound. It was important for you to have that in your day. I can't see where my seam is. Okay, I have deep issues. All right, it's fine. So you can decide how big you want your overlap to be. I'm doing an overlap that's like that. So that there's no gap between my pretty washi tape. Um, and yet, it's still filling up a lot. This washi tape that I have here is not wanting to stick to itself. If that happens to you, go around in a circle and then just put a little sliver of tape or something on your surface if that's what you want in your life. 
I chose to put my seam on top. If I were you, I would put the seam on the bottom where you don't see it. But you know what? We just move with this. This is part of our lives. This is crafting. Sometimes things go really easily. Sometimes you discover that you're not as smart as you thought you were. It's fine. You don't have to be smart. You just have to try. That's, that's all that matters here. Just try. And I'm certainly trying. I'm trying. Okay, see how we're going? We're gonna keep going. It's gonna be fun. I promise. At some point, fun will start. When the music starts, fun will start. This gold that I have is not sticky. The other ones are sticky, but this gold one is like laughing at me. Can you hear it? It's laughing. Okay. We're going to keep going here. And when I tell you it doesn't have to be perfect, I mean, you should see mine. It's not perfect. But once you have your phone in it, you're not going to care. We are going over this hole. Um, and the reason for that is because we want it to look nice. So we are covering that hole so that we can cut it neatly and have it look really, really fancy. Not that mine is gonna look fancy, but yours will look fancy. That's just part of it. I walk so you can run with your crafting. Not with scissors though, don't run with scissors. one more color left and thankfully I also have one more space left so my pattern that I didn't plan at all worked out great for me okay we now have a covered towel tube or toilet paper tube mine is a toilet paper tube it's fine so you're gonna to wanna to give yourself a little space on either side and then stick your little thing in. And I have you mark this. And marking it is smart. Marking it is great. But I am not doing that because that's not who I am. So you're gonna to wanna to cut like a Y shape at the very edge before you meet the inside. So it will look like there's a little triangle thing, like that. And we're going to tuck that up like this. See? And then you tuck either side under. And you realize it's not going to stick because you got metallic washi tape. Which, while it is really, really cool and I love it, does not stick as well as regular. So we're just going to do our best here to get it to stick. It, it actually kind of is sticking, not perfectly. I need actual tape. I don't have actual tape. It's fine. You don't need actual tape. Um, what you need is just to like hold it for a minute. It's fine. Okay, so that's your space where your phone will go. See? Now I'm going to take that last color that I did and I'm going to make my ends look nice. If I can find the end of the washi tape. This thing, I keep thinking that the lens is here, so I keep looking here. It's here. It's here. It's fine. Everything's going to be okay. So for this, I'm going to just have it sticking halfway off of my tube. 
And then I'm going to fold that under to make it look fancy. Fancy. See, we're getting fancy here. I would get some tape if I were you. Do I have tape? I don't have tape. I'm disappointed that I do not have tape here. That's what happens when you craft at home. Sometimes you're missing things. It's fine. I'm just gonna feel like this is inferior until I get back to the library where the tape lives. We usually have tape in our house, but it's Christmas. For us, I mean, it's also Hanukkah. So if you're doing Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. If you're doing Christmas, it's going to be a little while before it's Happy Christmas for you. Okay, so ideally, you take a little tape, you run it on inside of this because your washi tape may be doing what mine is doing, which is pretending to stick. That's fine. So, this little guy goes in here. It's a phone. And now you want to use your little push pins provided to make this stand up properly. So you're going to want to just kind of pick a line where you want them. So like I want mine on the gold and kind of experiment with where you want it, how you want it to stand. So like when you have it sitting the way you like it, like I like it sitting like this, I will say, okay, I want it to lean back from where it is. I'm gonna stick this in so that when it leans back, it can't roll any further. Now you might want a ruler for this, or you could be me and just punch a bunch of holes in this. It's fine. So I'm gonna use this to show you. That's what I'm going for. One of mine's a little higher than the other, it doesn't matter. Um, and then to keep it from rolling forwards, you're going to go to where it's sitting and just shove a couple in there almost parallel to the ground so that it can't tumble forward. But these aren't really doing a whole lot, the back ones are the ones doing the work. These are just here to keep it from rolling. Find that tape. You need tape. I need tape. I don't have tape. So basically you want to make sure that these are not so close to your phone that they could possibly scratch your phone because they are sticking up in there. If you have cork at your house, you can stick some cork on those so that they don't poke. But they won't poke you if you're careful. So that is your completed little speaker stand. I don't understand the science of this other than that it is directing sound. Maybe it's amplifying it. I don't know. But that's your little speaker stand. It's cute. Unfortunately, the washi tape is not as sticky as I would like it to be. Tape it. Tape it. Do some taping. And I hope you enjoy it. Happy crafting.